Hi guys, it's Matt. I uh, just got through listening to Mark Devlin's latest Q&A. And on that note, I wanted to mention that it's funny to me that uh, you find out over the years how all these musical stars are, you know, not what you thought they were and, and everything. But uh, the one that's hard for me to get my mind around in a way is uh, Sting. And I mean, I know about the whole military intelligence connection and IRS records and even his, his name, Sting. And I know he's, you know, as mobbed up as the rest of them, but I guess it was that uh, I had such a positive uh, thoughts and experience with the police that uh, it's, it's just one of those things where it's hard for me to... Uh, to, to realize it. Uh, before I get into the transgender early television, uh, you'll hear people say that uh, uh, not just Paul McCartney, but all of the Beatles were replaced. So I just wanted to do a uh, comparison of the early 60s Lenin on the right with the uh, about 1970 Lenin on the, uh, on the left. And... Um, I, I, going from this, I, I would uh, have to say that they are, it, it looks to me like they're the same, same one. The, going by that nose, uh, it would take more than just a passing comparison about that. Uh, to decide, of course. Um, let's jump to uh, one more from uh, Green Acres, my favorites, one of my favorites at one time. Uh, you know, and you also hear people say that uh, without proof, you can't know. Well, of course you can't without hard proof, but. You can use your own eyes and judgment, and uh, Mr. Haney was a woman. I don't know uh, how that would be a hard thing to, you know, to understand. Uh, again, with the neck always covered up. Uh, Mr. Douglas! Um, yeah, that is a, uh, that's a woman. And then over to uh, Gilligan's Island, uh, one that I mentioned in a Facebook post that I wanted to cover here. Uh, and I noticed when I was used to watch these shows, something about the way uh, the skipper moved. And I noticed the same thing with Newman. Uh, it's... Uh, It's, it's, I mean, it's just plain as day to me. I, I, the, the jawbone, the lack of a Adam's apple. Um, and so moving on to uh, let's go all the way back to I Love Lucy. Only one of them is still living and a shape-shifting dragon who is a queen. All the rest are gone. And I'm not kidding with that, and I realize most people think that's crazy, and that's also okay. But the point here is that uh, Vivian Vance looks like a, a man to me when you look at that jawbone and the length of the arms compared with William Frawley, who is, uh, again, no Adam's apple and... Uh, you can be sure that that was going on on that, uh, you know, uh, corner uh, cornerstone of, of uh, entertainment. Uh, one more look here. No, that was okay. So, okay, let's go to uh, the Dick Van Dyke show. And is that really that hard to see that 
that's a man, Rosemary, and that that's a woman, Maury Amsterdam. The jaws always shows more as they get older. And it's really neither here nor there, except that uh, I wanted to point these out because I, I don't remember, I, I haven't seen anybody else go into the early television, so I just wanted to, to go ahead and do that. Um, okay, uh, and on the uh, Bob Newhart show, I'm saying that both Suzanne Plachette and Marshall Wallace are men. And this fella here looks like he was probably a, a transgender w woman. Let's look at a uh, close up, uh, closer up of Suzanne Plachette. Not so easy to see in the early years, but uh, plain to see that those are the jaws of a man. That's what that is. And I was curious about this show, which uh, a lot of people from that, that grew up in that time uh, loved. Um, I was thinking that uh, Rhoda, the Valerie Harper, is a uh, transgender. Um, Yeah, yep. Valerie Harper, those, those are the jaws of a man, and she's also recently pretended to have cancer. Those things are always, uh, it must be part of the uh, the long-term contract when you, you need to stay in the public eye and fool people and lie to people and, and all of that. Uh, and then oh, jumping back here to the Bob Newhart show, uh, this is also the person who's the voice, was the voice of the teacher on The Simpsons, huge Masonic mind fuck. And, uh, but there she was on the uh, Bob Newhart show. And that is clearly the, the jaws uh, of a man. So thank you for uh, watching and I hope you have a uh, good day and I'll talk to you soon.